Saffron is made from the golden stigmas of the autumn flowering purple crocus. It is the most labor-intensive spice to produce and the most expensive spice in the world. Saffron has been cultivated in ancient village of Ghaen in northeastern Iran for thousands of years. The saffron crocus needs a soil that is a combination of gravel and red clay. It needs mild winters and hot and dry summers, as well as fields that are more or less bare, no trees, but also fields that are not susceptible to cold winds. <laughs> In the autumn, everyone in the village is involved during the harvest. From the very young to very old, they get up in the early morning before sunrise. The flowers must be hand-picked when their quality and aroma is at its peak in the early morning. Each day, the flower picking pretty much stops by 9 in the morning as the day begins to heat up. The pickers wear special aprons with large pockets for the picked flowers. After the saffron blossoms are picked, they are transferred to special white sisal sacks. The saffron blossoms are then taken indoors, usually to the family's home, where the blossoms are spread on white sheets in a cool, dark place. The saffron stigmas must be removed by hand on the same day as the harvesting. Otherwise, separating the stigmas from the blossom becomes harder. The three red stigmas from the blossom are separated and arranged in a pile on a plate. Then bundled into bouquets and tied with saffron dyed silk threads. The saffron bouquets are left to dry and transferred to white bags. The residual saffron blossoms are used to feed the lambs and sheep in the field. Some of the residual blossoms are also used as fertilizer. Besides its use in cooking and for the medicinal quality, it is considered to be an aphrodisiac. Saffron is used for its orange color to dye textiles. It was used as a perfume and also in ancient times offered ritualistically to the gods. But most importantly, saffron adds a ray potent and marvelous taste to food. To make saffron water, you must grind the saffron with a cube of sugar to help the grinding in a mortar and pestle, then dissolve in water. I like to dissolve my saffron in rose water to enhance its heavenly aroma. Saffron threads should be stored in a cool place in an airtight container. If it's stored correctly, its aroma will last for years. <laughs> 